Hi guys, so uh, today it is just a fun, I think it's Freeform Friday, why not, I'll put it out on Friday, um, video to make these little sleighs I make, it's like a tradition I've been doing for the last, oh gosh, I don't even know, uh, eight, ten years, um, it's to make little candy sleighs, so uh, generally I say, you know, I have affiliate links in the description box, which means I'll make a small commission for, if you're to purchase items to those links, I don't think I really have anything linked today, but um, I always give the disclosure if I think maybe later I'll pop something in there. Um, because it's all candy. Things you pick up, wherever you want to pick it up, Dollar Tree, you know, wherever you like to get your candy, right? I stopped in at Walmart, uh, Smart and Final, another store that's local, um, Albertsons, like, just all these different places. But there are a couple things we do need that I generally get at, uh, the Dollar Tree, so I'll show you those. Funny enough, I could not find Kit Kat anywhere, and this always happens when it's getting closer to time. I think a lot of people do this project. Um, I really wanted the holiday ones. I didn't even have the regular ones at Walmart. Like, they had the funky flavors, you know, but not, like, just regular Kit Kat that looked like this. So I just found these this morning. Bummer, because I already bought 13 <laughs> Kit Kats at Walmart that were just, like, regular. Yes, I know you can get them in bulk at different places, but I don't care for Costco, and I just didn't look earlier. So, um, grab these. So this is what I base my little guy on, okay? So, um, I am going to actually probably use a plain one for this mock-up. Oopsie. I like to make mine fresh, so I don't want to take all the candy out of the bags and have the wrap, you know, just sitting there. Because some things are just wrapped kind of loosely, you know, how candy is. So I like to make them fresh. So I'm going to use just a regular Kit Kat since I have one, and this is just kind of a mock-up. Uh, when I make my little sleighs, my little candy sleighs, I build them up, um, and then I usually put the, the, the little... Um, Basically, they're just built up in a way that's like pyramiding here, and then you put a little uh, bow on top with a thing, with like maybe some ribbon we'll talk about in just a minute. And I put like a little person driving it, which is usually Santa Claus or something. And then down here we have two, um, sorry, so we have two candy canes at the bottom, whatever it is. I usually like using peppermint because I like classic, but... Again, I couldn't really find peppermint candy canes until this morning. Like, and I wasn't even going to go to the store this morning, but I was like, you know what, I'll give it one more chance. And that's where I found the Kit Kat, and I found one, like one specific pack of like peppermint candy canes other than that I've been finding all like the funky flavor ones everywhere just not peppermint so anyway so I do have some fun flavor ones which is probably what I'll use today so the other things like I said that you will need by side like a bunch of candies that you like that are in varying sizes so you can stack them up and it looks nice is some curling ribbon this is the same one I used the other day when I show you guys how to make those fun mugs which I super love I hope you guys tried it out that is just such a fun thing I got um, a gift card from Miranda's teacher so I'm making her mug today and I'll maybe I'll grab a picture of it for you guys to show you in another video but I think it'll be cute so I'll have a gift card and then like candies all around um I grabbed these because I didn't see the little bows actually I didn't even look for them at the Dollar Tree but I have plenty of little bows from the years before because oh, I always buy them you know you have some left over these are cute they're just you know they have ties too so it's a little bit different kind of thing huh I should have grabbed more of these for a different project. But anyway, so for this project, I probably won't use these, but I did want to show you that they have those. These are usually what I buy, but I know year after year I do the same thing. So I have Christmas bows in this bag. I have more of those little bows. I have a whole pack I haven't even opened, so good thing. I usually put these guys. They're so cute, so I top it off with this. So these little bows, they always come to the Dollar Tree. I just didn't look this last time. I mean, I have tons of them just kind of laying in here. Um, these are all from the Dollar Tree, so that, this, those little bows I showed you, double-sided tape, which I bought one this year, um, I don't know where it is, <laughs> it must be at the bottom of the bag, but this is one from another year, again, I always keep the stuff in just a bag and I put it back with my Christmas items, so when we brought out the tree, I was able to get all this stuff together, so I do have double-sided tape, again, as crafters we have double-sided tape, that's not this cheap stuff, but since we're going to use so much of it and it's really just going to get ripped up and destroyed, then I just use this cheaper jot, but if you have... Yeah, you know, like the double side tapes that I have plenty of them from like the um, Spellbinders kits. That'd be good to use because I know I have tons every month I get one, right? So, um, any, any, anything, but you need double side tape. So, this is for like the decoration part of it. So, lots of candies. This stuff, this is the basic stuff we will need. Um, I use, do use hot glue. I don't use hot glue all the time because some of the candy, like if I put hot glue on this, it'll melt the coating, the plastic or whatever the stuff is. So I, that's why I use double-sided tape. Hot glue will stick faster and better, of course. But I just struggle with using double-sided tape because I don't want to burn into the candy. <laughs> so there's that. Um, so we have our little bows. I'll just grab one for now. Um, I, just, I do want to show you the candy I normally use. So you guys know I put one of these little guys in the um, Christmas mug that we did the other day, right? So I usually use something like him to drive the, the thing so he's nice and big and sizable. So I did grab tons of these, thank goodness, because when I went to Dollar Tree yesterday they had zero left. So I had tons of those guys. 
this is my usual build up. I have these guys, and everybody does different things, and that's, you know, do what you like, of course, as always. Um, oh no! I knew it. Um, it was raining like just ridiculous when we went to buy stuff at Walmart, and so we threw all our stuff in there, and I knew some of these were gonna get cracked, and sure enough, ah. That's a bummer. So I can't use those two, but Miranda will love them. Um, three? My goodness. <laughs> what did we do? I guess we just threw them in there. <laughs> okay. Back to basics. We have this. I like to top them with the Hershey bars, so I'll put like a level of them. I've seen like my old projects where I've done two levels of them, but I usually like to just put the four across here. And then smaller than that is usually like these recess candies. So I got both these because in this house we eat these anyway, so I need all of them. Uh, these are going to be a little taller than the mystery shaped one, but it depends on what the mystery shape is. So then I top it with that. And then I put a, um, a York, because usually the York is a little smaller than the <laughs> recess. And then I um, couldn't remember what I would do next, and I was like thinking about it. And I'm like, oh, Andy's mints, which is so funny because I had picked them up. Because again, my brain is always all over the place. I had picked these up the last last time I went to the Dollar Tree, knowing that I usually use these. So I do usually stack them up. Just whatever stack you gotta make that makes it look nice, like a little pyramid to the top. Um, I did see these at Walmart, and I grabbed them, these little Kinder. Look at these, because they're again a little shape. So if they have the Nutcracker, you know, at the beginning of the front of the sleigh or whatever, I just thought these were adorable, so I wanted to show them to you guys. Probably still use Santa today, the big guy. And then, on top of that, I was like, you know, it's still kind of big, the York Peppermint Patty. And I was like, oh, I think I used to put Kisses. So I grabbed some Kisses, but I'm like, no, I don't put Kisses, because that doesn't make sense. It'd be very hard to keep the little kiss on top. You could put this and then add the kiss on top instead of like a bow. That'd be cute. And I'll talk about that in just a minute. But I saw these and I'm like, oh, let's see how big these are. These look like they might be smaller. So we have these mini pepper bark. Um, talking about kisses, I wanted to show you guys these. Look at this. <laughs> these are the ones I was telling you guys about. These are for a different thing. I think I'm just going to put them out in a bowl because they're so cute with the Grinch. And then look at these, the little guys. They had them at the beginning of like, ugh. I think around Thanksgiving is when I picked these up. And then I saw them um, at other stores, but I don't see them anymore. So I think they're all gone, at least in this area. All right. So, again, starting off with Kit Kat. Some people start off with, like, a pack of gum. Like, you know, gum is about this size. Those skinnier packs if you want to do that. Uh, I'm going to pick out two of these. Hopefully they're not all broken. I do not know what happened. Well, I mean, I do know what happened. But, like, that's such a bummer. These are all, like, busted. I'm going to have to go get... Yeah, every single one. <laughs> I probably bought them that way, knowing me. Okay, let me go grab some other candy canes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so before I besmirch, you know, buying candy canes at Walmart, they were just fine. It was a rainy day, but I did find the ones I just showed you at um, the Dollar Tree. I stopped there after I couldn't find some of the things I wanted at Walmart. That's where I found the regular Kit Kats. Those candy canes I just showed you came from the Dollar Tree, so I think they were already broken when I got them. They were so picked over, you know? But anyway, so I'm going to get these guys. Look, these guys are more well-protected. The other one was like, didn't even have a packaging around it, you know? It was just kind of loose there. And the Brox ones are really what I wanted to get in the peppermint, because I love the way they look. Like, nice. The ones I end up getting are kind of cheaper looking, and they just cut off. And I think they're Spangler, which is a good company, but they just look prettier, the Brox ones. But anyway, here we go. So... We need two of these. I used to build them up first and then add everything, which doesn't really make a lot of sense. Over the years, I realized, okay, don't put the those on till the end. So we make our little base. So I'm gonna open this up. And I'm also going to maybe cover up my bracelet. I know it's so cute. You guys, if you saw the video when I made that, I am loving this little bracelet, but she is making a lot of noise. Okay, so let's put that up. So I'm just gonna start building up our little guy again with some double-sided tape. You know, whatever candies come out, except for... I try to make them different. Like I said, whatever candies come out, of course, the first three are exactly the same. No, we don't want that. We want, like, one, maybe two, three. I used to put four. Are they bigger? Something smaller is... <laughs> what's going on? Um, where do we have Mr. Goodbar? What do we need? Crackle? We have Crackle. Oh, Special Dark? Yep, I guess it's Special Dark, which nobody in this house... Well, I guess Diego likes it, but... You know, I'm going to put the four. Now, it looks like I could have just gone with three and then keep going from there. That's weird. I usually do four and then... Not usually, but I've done in the past. And then three. But that seems kind of like a lot. So I'm just going to do the four. I think I just wasn't being adventurous in the early years on how many chocolates I want to put on there. Okay, so we start off with those guys. Where's my double-sided tape? I hope this works. It was in the garage from last Christmas. Actually, probably two years ago Christmas, now that I think about it, because last Christmas we did not get together, so I did not make these 
Although I should have made them for the kids here, my kids, since it is a tradition, but okay. I was going to say, is this going to be on the whole thing? What's going on? Can I use this first piece? Yes, I, I am that uh, chintzy. <laughs> we'll definitely try to use this first piece, but I think it'd be hard to come away. I'll put it over here and fight with it later. Y'all don't need to see me doing that. Okay, so now we're at the double-sided sticky part. The one I usually get is the one that's, I think, it's scotch. They usually have, right? The double-sided tape. And it doesn't have to be a lot, because we're also going to tie it down. So I'm just going to put that. Again, these are fun for the kids to make. I always enlist the kids to help me make these. Sorry, I thought I heard Diego coming down. Okay, so we have that. I think that's probably why. Oh, here's the Hershey Kisses I did buy, because I was going to put some on here. But I, thought, I don't think I usually put Kisses. I'm not sure why I brought those. Okay. I may have to do a separate layer. Let's see. Let's see how big these are. The trees. And then sometimes I do like the milk chocolate. The Not milk chocolate. Yeah, that's probably why I do three and then this guy. Let's see what that looks like. Let's see what this guy looks like. Yeah, you just gotta play Jenga since I haven't made these in over a year. I forget. Like this one looks bigger actually than this, which is not typical. Hmm. Okay, let's see. That's actually pretty cute, but now I feel like there's still something else down at the bottom. Let me see if we need three more of these guys. Oh my god, why are there, there just must be a ton of these milk chocolate ones because that's what all I keep getting here. Let's say we had this guy. Mm, that one. We don't want to put two good bars on top of each other. I try to vary it up. Then that guy. And then this guy, and then this guy. Yeah, see, that just makes it look so much more like umph. Okay, fine, we'll do that. I think that's what I used to do. I used to put the little, um, let's try these candies, see what that looks like. White chocolate. The cookies and cream ones. Those work out really well, too. Nah, I'm not going to do these. Okay. So, yeah, it just depends on what you got going, what you have in front of you here. I feel like I, I ditched the extra, these guys last time, like I said. That's all right. So we have that one. Then this one, then this one, give them a little push, okay, and then this guy, like I said, depends on the size, so this is the tree, he's a little bit longer, like if I want to look in these shapes, I might find something that I prefer over the tree, oh, that one's still pretty long, he's all about the same, eh, they're about the same, let's go with the tree, looks cute. And that guy, yes, okay, perfect. And that's what we're doing this year. So now I'm gonna enlist Diego again and Dorian and Miranda probably this year to build these up. So like I said, you can do hot glue, but I just don't prefer to do that. And then I have those little Ghirardelli squares. Ah, I don't wonder. Let me open this. I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Perfect. Now, this is a this is a big boy. <laughs> you know, it just depends on what you got going on, how your stack ends up. Okay. So that is that. Now I am gonna add these guys, and this is pretty much why I used to add them first. You put them on, you know, and then build from there because they don't really get in the way, but they will move around because you know they're not really gonna stick super well. Now I have my stack here, but all we have to do is put some double-sided tape on the bottom. And I run it all the way down. Now this is why I was like, maybe I should bring out some of my um, my good tapes. <laughs> some good uh, red liner tape. <laughs> no, maybe even foam tape would be good because it has a little bounce to it and you can really, it'll really hold on to your sticks better. But okay, so I put tape, doot, doot. And... You know, I kind of just stick them down. Kind of paying attention to where they are in the front. It's not rocket science. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You can stick those down first. If you're working with kids, it might be better for them to have it stuck down first. I don't know. However you think. And then here is where this guy comes in. And I hot glue him 
in just a minute. Now, if you want to bring this off further, depending on your little character, again, these little guys are kind of small and cute. They would be adorable. I sometimes get like the, um, if I don't find these guys or enough of them, because I need to make so many, I don't want them to be different. Um, I use the, at Dollar Tree, they have like these little marshmallow men. It's like marshmallows, so they're nice and they're kind of longer, so you can put it on there and it looks cute, nice and sizable. But I'm going to move this out just a little more because this guy is pretty big. I don't know, I think I put it back in the same spot. Okay, I'm going to add this and then we'll fire up our glue gun. Since I'm doing silver, I usually match my bow with like whatever I use here. So I do need to grab more of this. I was hoping I would have some more in that bag and I did not see it. <laughs> So what happens is, this is the kind of thing year after year, it's like, do I really want to hold on to this? I don't know. So sometimes I give it away, somebody else can use it, you know, while they're wrapping gifts, especially at my mom's house, everyone's wrapping like at the same time or whatever. So I don't think I have any more with me. So I definitely need to grab more of this. Okay. So what I do is I'll start like up here to see how much I need. This is just an eyeballing. Maybe I'll measure it, but again, it depends on your stack, how much you actually need. We're going to go under here, of course. Just like if you're wrapping a gift, you know how you wrap and then you cross it back over. So I do need more. Do need much more over here. This guy needs more. I'm going to go around here. Cross over here. You know what I'm saying? We're just going to cross it over, just like if you're wrapping a gift. This is much harder to do for a video. I think I did a video a long time ago for it, but this one, time I feel like... <laughs> and I thought, oh, this will be quick. But there's a lot of explaining to, you know, talk about the engineering <laughs> here. And I pull it tight, because that's also going to help you keep your, um, your sticks in place. I would say that's probably, what, like two feet, maybe? Per guy. I just want to make sure this is nice and snug. I feel like I can be a little more snug. There we go. Oh, something smells so good in pepperminty. It's that uh, Ghirardelli. Or the Andes mints. Okay, come on. Did I do it? Did I tie it? No. <laughs> there we go. I couldn't tell if I actually had pulled it. Now some people would, you know, you can go under this piece and tie it so it holds on really well, but that's fine. And then we're going to... Whoop, so cute. And I'm telling you, you make an army of these, they look so cute all together. Alright, so there's that guy. And then, like I said, if you want to put a kiss on top of this, a Hershey kiss, cute. But I always put a little bow. So I will put my little bow. Peel off. It says to go this way, but it doesn't look like that works. And sometimes I'll add another little bit of hot glue on this because a lot of times it wants to pop off, you know. But look how cute it is already, even without a Santa Claus driving it. <laughs> that is a nice stack of candy. All right, there we go. And so I'm going to fire up my heat gun because I will put heat on this because it's foil. It's not going to burn through. And I just put a little bit and I stick him basically to this um, piece of uh, curling ribbon. Okay, so let me fire up my heat gun, my glue gun, should I say, and I'll be right back. I'm ready for this. We got that guy, we got this guy, and then we're going to stick this guy right here. Sometimes, <laughs> you know how these guys want to move, I'll put a little glue here and there and just notch those on too, just to make sure, but just the smallest amount. So it depends how you want to do this. You want to put the glue on here, or do you want to put it on the string so you know you're right where you need to be. Of course, we're going to seal that up. And I place him on. This is very hard to do for a video. <laughs> so I want to show it to you guys, but at the same time, I don't want to burn my fingers. I'm trying to catch that little. Because that's all. He's holding on by that little glue. And like I mentioned, if you want to put a little small amount, just like on the plastic, notch that on there. <laughs> So usually this is the part I wrap it up for everybody, like they make the, the sleigh itself and then I'll finish this part off. And that's just another way to assure that. And look at them! I mean these are so cute and everyone loves the kids, I mean this is basically a stocking stuffer that I make. And I used to put stocking stuffers, stuffers separately, but I'm like this is a lot already. <laughs> so look how cute. Again, just depends on your stack of what you have, what you want to put on there. Things you like, of course, in your family. And there it is! Alright guys, well thanks for watching, I'll have some images for you, 
And I will see you guys the at the next one. Let me know if this is something you've been doing. I know a few guys had already said, oh, I made candy slice too, or, you know, whatever it is. But let me know. It's so funny. I went to plug this in. I found this. I was like, this is exactly what I was talking about. Like, I have all kinds of double-sided tape that's Suk Wong, Suk Yang kind, or whatever. Like, you know, we all have double-sided tape. So you can definitely use this. But this stuff works just as fine. And if you're going to just use it up, just, you know, it's a buck. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you all at the next one. Bye now.